What's the best car for a real estate agent to drive? Well, in this video, we're gonna share some insights on cars for real estate agents, and we're going after it right now. Hey, what's up guys? This is Saul from Agent Expand. If this is your first time here, we do a lot of videos about helping real estate agents succeed with tips, tricks, and training. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified every time we do future videos. In this video, we're gonna talk about a common question. What is the best car for a realtor? Well, you know, real estate agents drive a lot. They drive from showing appointments to listing appointments, getting coffee, meeting real estate agents. They drive from the office to the home and back several times a day. I drive myself personally I drive about 35,000 kilometers which is roughly 21,000 miles a year and I always believe that the more I drive the more I make meaning I'm gonna to go to more appointments now stay tuned towards the end so I can tell you which car I drive and which one I recommend so agents also drive around clients and potential clients in hopes of earning their business their appearance is part of their first impression and that includes their car so agents understand how important a first impression can be and their car is part of their first meeting with a client. But it's also important for the agent to have a vehicle that's comfortable and efficient. After all, you're gonna be in that car for hours at a time. So sometimes agents feel that a larger vehicle is necessary in order to drive their clients around. But in reality these days, most clients don't even uh, come in your car. They drive their own vehicle. They got their own mode of transportation. Uh, they will meet the agent and follow them to a showing or to a closing office. So don't worry about buying a vehicle that will fit an entire family for a showing. Most will just drive on their own. Although there are benefits of them being in your car and an SUV will be, will be uh, beneficial for that or just simply any car works. But I would say um, having them in your car is important so you can connect with them, get to know them. But a car is important to be nice and clean. That first impression definitely helps. So with that being said, an SUV or larger vehicle can be helpful for your daily errands but it isn't necessary for this role you know there's this misconception that all real estate agents should drive a flashy luxury car um, it sh you know shows that you're successful they want the name brand cars and the latest model I mean it could definitely show success but it, it isn't necessary in some markets the whole package like the car clothes watch bags is necessary it's generally more expected with a luxury property listing, a flashy car that shows you understand the luxury market. It's not the idea that you can't handle those kind of deals, but do you have the network that can support a luxury property? The cars can be a clear indicator of success for certain clients. Cars that fit in this type of market would be like a Mercedes, BMW, Lexus, sports cars. In other markets, all that flash will kind of be a turnoff to potential buyers and sellers. These people look at everything, so they want to know if you will be charging more to fund your lifestyle. So make sure to understand your market and know the demographics. If you need a more practical yet stylish car, consider a Toyota. Even Nissans are really good. I've leased a few of those in the past myself. Um, they're reliable cars, have a modern and clean look, and they last a long time, which will hold up when it comes to wear and tear. You know what, I even know a few realtors that have a Dodge Caravan, a fleet of them in fact, with their branding and logo. They pretty much wrap their whole car with their branding. Uh, this seems to work for that agent and their team because they're farming a specific neighborhood and their cars are driving around all over the neighborhood which is giving them market share due to familiarity with that brand. So I highly recommend if you're going to farm a neighborhood, get your vehicle wrapped and it won't even matter what kind of car it is because all they're going to see is your, your face or your brand all over that vehicle and most vehicles that are wrapped, you can't even tell what kind of car it is. Have you considered an electric car to buy? One of the best ways to show your success and be efficient is with an electric vehicle. These are high value vehicles that are efficient and stylish. They can show your clients that the environment is important to you and you're willing to put your money into the future. Driving an electric car will set you apart from the other agents and it could also be a good conversation starter with new clients. Real estate agents know that they are a walking brand. When they show up for an appointment, they should be put together and organized. This doesn't mean you go and buy expensive clothes and accessories. It also doesn't mean you need an expensive car. It means you should have professional attire, organized paperwork, and a presentable vehicle. Everything should be clean and in working condition. 
I would say go invest in a, in a car wash pass as well. It's not always true, but a messy exterior can imply that you don't know how to be organized in life. A potential client could be turned off by a dirty vehicle or one that is falling apart. So if you don't take pride in your own vehicle, how would you treat your client's home or their home search? Marketing is just as important as performance. So if you aren't noticed as a real estate agent, you won't gain new clients. Agents will put their personal information on their vehicles, drive around as a mobile billboard like I was mentioning earlier, and this can be especially effective when you have a unique car such as an electric vehicle. So not every client will judge you based on your vehicle, but some will. Uh, I know it doesn't seem fair that some will, but it does happen. You should be judged on your merit, but yet again, your brand should appear put together and competent. Clients want to feel safe and comfortable with you as their agent. So understanding your clients will help you the most when it comes to the best car to drive as a real estate agent. So as for me, I decided to get a Tesla Model 3 and I've not regretted my choice one bit. I bought this back in 2019. It's perfect for me. I use it as a mobile office. It doesn't take gas. It's a conversation starter. People actually love my vehicle more than when I had a BMW during my first 10 years as a realtor. Since we drive a lot, you're gonna need something that'll make you excited about going to appointments and not regretting the time it takes you to get there. See, when I'm stuck in traffic or I've got a long drive to go, I, you know what I put as a podcast? Uh, it helps me pass the time and I also learn a lot of things. So I would definitely recommend downloading podcast or something off Spotify that you can listen to and sharpen up your skills while you're waiting and uh, going to appointments. So hopefully you like that video. Again, if you have any comments about what kind of car you, you are driving or what kind of car you should drive, leave them below. Let me know what your opinions are. And again, uh, we are making videos weekly, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you did want to mastermind with me, just want to talk about the market and how I can help you, we can help each other, uh, make sure you click the calendar link in the description below and set up a quick 30 minute free conversation with me and let's, let's talk about it. Let's, let's see if we can help each other in the future. So again, thanks for joining us and we'll see you on another video.